Hello everyone. Uh, we are discussing the conversion of the Moore machine to the Mealy machine. Let's take one more example to understand this in a better way. For example, let's say I have the state A on which zero is associated. I have a state B where zero is associated. So these are the states. Let's find it like the states. And then we have C where one is associated. So on B, I remain here itself. On A, I move here. On A, I remain here. On B, I move here. On A, I again move here. And on B, I move to A0 state. Okay. So th this is the uh, Moore machine, which has already been defined. So as we know that the conversion of this will go by state by state. So let's say I take the all the transitions from state number A. So with a small b, I remain at state number A only. Hence, let me mark the transitions along with the output, which is zero. So now, uh, if I if I am at a state number A and I move to a state number B with a small a, so the output associated with the transition will be the output associated with the state B. On B with a small a, I remain at its, itself. So the output associated will be zero. And on small b, I move to C. Hence, the output associated at this will be the output associated with the C state. Now on C state, uh, by taking a symbol a, I move to B state. So the output associated with this transition will be the output associated with the B state. And on B, I move to A state, hence the output associated with this transition will be the output associated with the state capital A, which would be zero. Now, since I have already included the transitions with the, uh, I have associated the outputs with the transitions, I will remove the outputs associated with the states, and this becomes the Mealy machine. So as I have mentioned earlier that uh, if I am uh, drawing the Moore machine or the Mealy machine, drawing the Transition table is very, very important, hence I am doing here as well. So by taking a symbol small a, I move to state b. On taking small b, I remain at a state a. At a state b, by taking a symbol small a, I remain at a state number b. And by taking the small b, I move to state number c. On a state c, by taking a small a, I move to state number b. And with a small b, I move to state number a. So these are the transitions, and along with this, I will have to associate the output function output values or output alphabets so a by taking a small a moves to state b and produces the output zero a on a small b remains at itself and it will produce the output zero b on taking a small a symbol remains at itself and produces the output zero b on a small b moves to state number c which produces the output one and then C on a small a moves to state number B and this transition will generate the output symbol zero. And C on taking a small b moves to A state and it will generate the output zero. So this is the transition function, uh, sorry, transition table for the Mealy machine. And as you know that this is defining the lam lambda, which is the output function. And this, this is defining the del also, which is the transition function. So we have defined everything. and I am repeating this again and again in every video that whenever you are writing this question or doing this question in your university examination, along with drawing this diagram, you should also draw this transition table. So thanks for watching this. In the next video, we will learn how to convert the Mealy machine to the Moore machine. Thanks for watching.